Why do immigration refuse visas? Immigration refuse visas if the visa applicant and or the sponsor don't meet the requirements. So each visa, if we're talking about the partner visa or the prospective marriage visa, they have legislative requirements. Think of it like a recipe. So there's lots of ingredients required for that visa to be approved. If one of them, just one of those requirements isn't met, that may be grounds for the visa to be refused. Now, some of the more common reasons for refusals when it comes to partner visas or prospective marriage visas are ge the genuine element, whether or not the Department of Immigration believes it's a genuine and continuing relationship. And unfortunately, with a lot of the refusals that I've seen where people have put their own application together, the visa refusal could have been avoided if they had been better prepared. So it's quite often a case of couples being in a genuine relationship, but not knowing how to prove that to immigration. And it's not immigration's job to guide you or ask you for more evidence or contact you and say, hey, I'm just not too sure about this. Could you give me a little bit more of X, Y, Z? That's not their job. The responsibility is on you or your registered migration agent, if you do work with a representative, to work out how much is enough evidence to prove that you're in a genuine and continuing relationship. Another reason that I see regular uh, visa refusals and certainly increasing is where people have provided false or misleading information or bogus documents in an application. This is an absolute no, no, it's really hard to come back from if you have lied in an application or provided false or misleading information. So there's some examples, not all of the examples. There's lots of different reasons why visas can be refused. But when it comes to partner visas and prospective marriage visas, most commonly it's because the decision maker hasn't been satisfied that the relationship's true.